A new experiment has begun for the Indian economy with the Reserve Bank of India launching the first version of a digital rupee that runs on blockchain. It is different from any cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Ether and it will be the liability of India's central bank, the RBI. But before you plan to stack some digital rupee like other cryptocurrencies, here are the seven things you need to know. The RBI will issue two versions of CBDC or Central Bank Digital Currency, simply put the e-rupee. Launched on November 1, Digital Rupee Wholesale Segment will be only for interbank settlements and the other will be for retail for people like you and me. CBDC will be the legal tender that is issued by the central bank in a digital form. In simpler words, it will be just like a fiat currency but in a different form. The digital rupee will be backed by blockchain technology and will be exchanged through blockchain-based wallets. E-Rupee will also offer an alternative to Western payment systems. Digital Rupee wholesale segment is not for the public. Indians would need to wait a little longer to get their hands on the Digital Rupee. Only the Digital Rupee wholesale segment has been launched for now. It will be used for settlement of secondary market transactions in government securities, which means it will be used only for B2B transactions. RBI says the digital rupee is expected to make the interbank market more efficient. It said that settlement in central bank money would reduce transaction costs by preempting the need for settlement guarantee infrastructure or for collateral to mitigate settlement risk. Only nine banks, including State Bank of India, SDFC Bank, ICICI, Kotak Mahindra Bank, and HSBC, have been identified for participation in the pilot project. The wholesale version of digital currency does not directly impact the common man. Wholesale digital rupee or central bank digital currency is designed for restricted access to select financial institutions. However, the retail version of the same is being planned for a launch within a month in select locations. Retail CBDC can be used by all, including the private sector, non-financial consumers and businesses. In the union budget for 2022-23, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman had said the RBI would roll out a digital equivalent to rupee in the current financial year. Faced by a drop in usage of paper currency, the central banks are now seeking to popularize a more acceptable electronic form of currency. CBDC is expected to lower the cost of issuance of money and transactions. In its concept note released earlier, the RBI said that the digital currency will be supported by the state-of-the-art payment systems of India that are affordable, accessible, convenient, safe and secure. While Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin and other popular cryptocurrencies rely on blockchain technology, these private currencies lack the status of legal tender. And although they have gained popularity in India, their use is still very much restricted. The digital rupee is expected to be a legal tender and it will be legally accepted throughout the country since RBI will be backing it. Moreover, unlike CBDC, the value of cryptocurrency is based on public perception. So it can fluctuate quite drastically, which makes it unsuitable as a store of value. We have already seen a major crypto wipeout in the last few months with the value of currencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum plunging to record lows. And since crypto can be used to carry out illegal transactions, a currency with the backing of a central bank like RBI will always be a safer bet. According to the RBI concept note, it's a no. They are not in favor of e-rupee with interest. Why? Because people might withdraw money from banks and convert it to digital rupee, causing banks to fail. Currently, the concept of digital payments aligns with transactions made through UPI as well as NEFT and RTGS. In these modes of payments, there is an intermediary bank through which the payments are verified and facilitated. A CBDC will be a liability of the Reserve Bank and not of a commercial bank. This means that all transactions will be made through the central bank.